Good morning, students. Today, we're going to start with an introduction about the new reading text, Books Weekly. But before, let's review some new vocabulary and provide you with examples about each to understand. The first one is self-toot. Self-toot, which means to teach yourself by yourself. You don't need teachers. You don't need to go to school. You just use internet. You use books, reading, and so on. You have a help from your brother, from your older sister to learn. So we have here an example, as you can see in the picture. Salma lives far away from school, but she's self, a self-taught girl. She studies alone. That she needs no teachers, no school. She can learn by herself. This is the meaning of self-taught. And here, self-taught is an adjective. The second example is to pursue. We used to pursue, which is a verb here, to uh, refer to continue or to finish something. You start with something and you want to finish. We express this meaning using the verb to pursue. This example in front of you, my father wants to pursue his education after lifting school for years or he stopped studying, for example, let's say 10 years, and after 10 years, he wants to continue. He wants to gain a bachelor's degree, for example, or he wants to gain the Taujihi degree or certificate. So we express this using to pursue, liukme, to continue. So here, is, here the per pursue is a verb. The, the second example is, uh, superb. Superb, it's like another adjective which means excellent, amazing, great, outstanding, and so on. For example, you have this uh, sentence in front of you, I have got a superb uh, score in English test. So he's very happy with his amazing uh, score. He got an A, so he wants to describe this score using um, an adjective like different from excellent and amazing and great and so on, you can use superb. Any achievement, A in jazz, you feel it's very good, it's excellent, you can use the adjective superb. The fourth one is valuable. Valuable means worth a lot of money, something very expensive, something very, uh, like, is worth it. So something for you is valuable. Here we are talking about the materialistic valuability or something valuable with money. This example in front of you, this necklace, as you can see, is very valuable. I bought it for 300 JD. It's very valuable. Okay, you got it. The next example is... Pharaoh. Pharaoh is, as you can see, a pharaoh, a name given to the ancient Egyptian, Egyptian rulers. We have this example. There are a lot of famous Egyptian pharaohs at the museum. Pharaohs, like any king, but in the Egyptian culture, they used to call it pharaoh or pharaoh. Tamam? The following example is to reign. To reign. To reign means to rule a country. It's to rule or to control. But here we have a king, a queen, always responsible for ruling a country. So this example, I read a story about a very good king who reigned his country for 60 years. He ruled. He controlled his country. He gave orders. Okay? The following example is mysterious, difficult to understand. This example is very clear for you, I guess, from the picture. I love Conan. He always solves, and here, I'm sorry, we have solves, because it's a present simple. A mysterious cases, something very difficult to understand. Mysterious, you don't know anything about. Okay? 
Next is philosophy. Philosophy, it's your way of thinking, your way of acting, your attitude. Philosophy, someone. So, for for example, Einstein, or in English, we pronounce it as Einstein with S. In Arabic, it's Einstein has his own philosophies of science. Einstein put his own rules, put his own formulas about science, about math. This way of thinking we call the philosophy. Okay, and the last example today is astronomy. Astronomy means the science of stars and planets. To study the stars, planets, Pluto, Neptune, and so on. This is astronomy. Uh, um, Milky Way or in its Tabana, these things when you study or the science of these things we call astronomy. For example, my grandpa knows a lot about astronomy. I'm going to get back to the terms or to the vocabulary once again for you to hear the pronunciation. Self taught to pursue. Superb, valuable, pharaoh, to wane, the G is silent, mysterious, philosophy, and astronomy. Thank you so much.